So now in this video we will start with the while loop. As we have discussed earlier like whenever I want to execute a particular loop in a given condition like I want to keep moving unless and until I reach my home. I don't know how many steps I need to take for reaching home but yes I will keep on walking unless and until I will get that destination. So of course there is a condition but the number of steps has not been specified here. So that is what we will do here in the while loop as well repeatedly executes the statement as long as a given condition is true. So as here you can see the syntax where first of all we will check a condition and when this condition will return true we will execute the conditional codes and let's go through the flowchart. First of all the condition will be checked if condition is false you are going outside loop will be terminated and if the given condition is true we will execute the code block and then again we will check the condition all right so this will take place unless and until it will return a true and as soon as it is done we will terminate it all right so let's see it practically how this while loop will be in action as for the discussion of while loop i stated like while loop will be used when we exactly don't know the number of executions here i knew like I need to get the prime numbers from 1 to 100 but as I said if I want to get the 100 prime numbers I don't know which is the 100th prime number starting from 1 so I don't know how many times a loop should execute it so right here what I'll do I'll try to do the similar thing using the while loop where this boolean is still there one variable is to count number of prime numbers which you have found and num which you will check. So you can see while count is less than 100 starting from 0 till 99 are the 100 prime numbers and rest of all the logic is same. One more thing is there like whenever I will get any prime number I will just make an increment to this count variable and after that every time I'll have to make an increment for this num so that we can check the other numbers as well. So let's execute this program and you see all the hundred prime numbers starting from one got printed like here you can see 523 is the hundred prime number but I never put this particular number in my code. So this is how you can use the while loop. Now in an another example of while loop I am going to find out the number of digits for a particular given number. So here I am taking a number from the user and then in this digits variable I will be counting the number of digits. So here first of all I have assigned this num to a temporary variable and then I will check like this loop will go on unless and until this temp will not be equal to 0. So let's put a breakpoint right here to see how this program will get executed. Let's press F5. First of all, I'll have to give a number. So let's give the number like it's a four digit number and see how it goes on now. So this 4563 is not equal to zero. Let's say proceed by pressing F11 and you see digits plus plus digit becomes one and temp is equal to temp by 10. So the last number got moved away because it will not consider the decimal values and it becomes 456. Again this 456 will be compared it is not zero digits plus plus one becomes two and it becomes 45 temp becomes 45 you can see it from here. Again we'll compare 45 with zero and temp plus plus temp sorry digit plus plus digits become three and now digits become four but now you see like last at the last division this temp becomes zero and now this condition will be false and when now we'll get this output so if i will execute this by putting any digit number like right now i have entered a six digit number you can see like this is a six digit number. So this is how you can use your while loop when you don't know the number of executions.